I stopped by the panel shop to discuss the bodywork needed on a Ferrari 275 GTS, and Mark Barton walked me through the steps. If you look, the car's been hit in this area here. It's been pushed in, and this line has been dragged down as the, uh, the sheet metal's been pulled down. So we have to, we're gonna have to pull all this out, push everything out in position, uh, repos reposition the bumper, and also the bumper has a slight curve to it that is not correct. Um, this, this is all gonna be completely removed and, 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 and cut out, new metal put in, butt welded uh, with original looking tubes and gussets in the back to mount the bumper, bumper and everything. These holes here, in this area here is, is just bad bodywork. Um, a regular body shop would have just had a slide hammer where they would have gone in through the holes and tried to pull some of that out. And you can see the small holes. Some of these areas are going to have to be cut out and new, uh, new pieces of metal uh, fabricated and uh, butt welded in, into position. There's a lot more to these cars than simply pulling dents. A trained eye can spot some subtle problems that can only be addressed at this stage of the bodywork. As you see, like a lot of Ferraris, all the lines need to flow in. They need to flow in around here. This center section here is probably pr pretty much original, how it sits in here with the grill. But if you look along here, it, it's slightly pulled in. And over here, it's in the wrong position from about here, round to there. And the line definitely doesn't flow from here around. So this all has to be repositioned and we'll have to make some patterns so everything matches up from left to right. We also discussed the repairs needed in the rocker panels where new support pieces and rocker skins will be fabricated from scratch. All this work will ensure this Ferrari looks as good as it can be.